I'm out on a dog walk and it is so skiddy. You can't tell on the film, but that's me holding the camera out straight and that's me pointing it down 45 degrees. It's really steep and very muddy. I'm a bit worried I'm going to skid. I've got to climb up there now. last few days she's not wanted to go through this style because she doesn't like the mud on the other side. Go on, go on. Usually she's through just like a ferret. It's the sort of mud where you could lose a welly. <laughs> I've got a bag of apples, I've picked some apples. Oh the light, look at that, it's gorgeous. You know, I look like a maniac, I look like I'm wearing my woolly bandage again. <laughs> I might have to try to dye this hat. <sighs> Wilfred just came into my um, sewing room and he saw a box of sweets that I'd had left over from Halloween um, and then used to fill their advent calendar. And um, he saw them and he's like, oh, can I have one? I said, yeah, go on then. So um, he took out a drumstick, which are these lovely sweets. They're like chewy lollipops. And I thought, fancy one of those. But I don't have any pockets in what I'm wearing. And I thought it'd be nice to eat that on my walk. So I tucked it into my leggings. And I was walking along and I was leaving a voice message <laughs> for someone. And I thought, what is that? Something really scratchy on my leg and it had dropped all the way down. It was resting on my lower inner thigh. So I had to put my hand down my <laughs> leggings in the middle of a field and fish my sweet out. <laughs> that served me right. I'll probably need a filling now. I must love this dog. I'm out in all weathers with her. She, um, she doesn't really like the rain, she doesn't like the cold, but she loves a walk, so she, she just gets on with it. <laughs> this is such hard work. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I feel sure I'm going to fall so I'm just going to keep recording because wouldn't that be funny to capture that on film Ooh, I'll do anything for a laugh <laughs> there was a pig in this field yesterday no one knows who it belongs to Beautiful, big, fat sow on her own, docile, friendly, massive. She's not here today though. Mind you, I don't have my glasses on so I can't see in the distance. Oh, hang on. No, I can't see. I can't see. I don't think that's her. She's lovely. I do like pigs. I'm watching Homespun House. I've got my headphones on, which is why you can't hear it. Oh, I really want to go to Germany one day. Never been. I've got candles lit. I've got 
this little thing you can't really see because the camera's showing everything up brighter. A glass of wine in a crystal glass I found in a charity shop for 75p. The only thing wrong with it is that it actually doesn't hold very much. <laughs> Making some chips. Toby and I are having minted lamb chops. The children are having pizza. We're trying to use up what we've got in our freezer. Ready for, let me turn this around. Ready for Christmas so that we've got space for everything and for leftovers. But people are talking about stockpiling for Brexit, which is not something that I have done. Not something I really intend to do. I feel like even if we have to eat some bananas meals, we've got enough food in the house to see us, five of us, through several weeks. There's enough food in the country. If we just buy what we need, then the weeks will pass and there will be enough. But if we all buy too much and it just sits in our cupboards, then some people who haven't got the funds to go out and buy all of their additional groceries when they do get their wages there won't be anything on the shelf so that's my opinion and maybe I'll change my mind if you guys enlighten me in a different way but that's that's what I feel at present <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm the Wally. Maybe we all should be stockpiling. My son coming to my rescue because I cannot, I cannot open. You did it and I didn't record it. Can we do it again? No. <laughs> don't do it back up again. I'll never get in it. Teddy has been living his dream since Monday. Toby's port brought this mini excavator back um, and borrowed next door's dumper and um, had 10 tonnes of gravel delivered. And um, Ted's been spreading it. Oh, done such a good job and he's absolutely loving it. Look at that. He's really got a handle on that as well because they're not easy to use. You've got to do levers here, there and everywhere. Mind you, I think kids that play computer games these days probably can work these machines pretty easily. down. Now the other way, that's it. Nice and steady. I've got my Brigham sweater here. I've had a lot of comments about it. Mostly comments of horror of I can't believe that's happened, your poor sweater. And then I've had a lot of suggestions of what to do. My mum suggested turn it into a cloche hat, but I'm just gonna spin the camera around so I can show you. But I'm not sure it's felted enough to be stable as a cloche hat, because you'd have raw edges. 
um, ideas of cushion covers, ideas of giving it to somebody. The armpits are tiny. Um, the herringbone stitch has bunched up so it actually looks really messy. So it's just, it's uncomfortable to wear because it is stiff like a carpet. But Leslie suggested that there's a thing you can do with hair conditioner. I mean, look at that. That's so, that is so matted. She suggested that with hair conditioner, you can sometimes rescue something that's shrunken. So maybe if that works, if it makes it more of a wearable shape, then perhaps I could pass it on to somebody smaller than me. I'll probably give it to my goddaughter. Um, otherwise, it's going to have to be a hot water bottle cover, which I think that would be nice. It would be nice to be able to keep it after I've done all that knitting. Hello, Margo. In here, I have got hair conditioner and it's just sudsed up because I've had to agitate it quite a bit to get the, um, the clumps to break up. So the idea is you just soak it. Oh, it's almost waterproof. <laughs> it's not going down. Look at it, it's buoyant. Doink. And then you leave that for a considerable amount of time and then you have to stretch it. I don't hold much hope because it is so matted, but you know, might as well give it a go. This week I've been knitting the older sweater by Isabel Kramer and I did try it on when I hadn't knitted quite so much and I thought to myself this is this is fine it's going to be fine I'll continue but I've just tried it on again I put it on a longer cable and it's I think it will stretch out with blocking but I don't want to stretch the fabric out too much because I like I like how it is oh, my tension's horrible I don't know why my tension is so bad lately it's really inconsistent anyway with the blocking it's going to stretch out these side seams and oh now Margot's making a noise I just had to re-record this once because Bunny start, started scratching vigorously making a collar tinkle yeah, I don't like how the this seam increases are. They just look messy. It's because you have to do um, make one left purl and make one right purl. It's just my friend Corolla is doing it as well, and she wasn't happy with her increases, and she's frogged it all. The thing that's putting me off doing it again is the many 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 short rows that you need to do around here however now that i know how the construction is i think that would be easier for me to do so all of this to say i'm frogging it i won't wear it if it doesn't fit properly and i love this yarn i got it from kelly play family yarn and i really love it and although this is hours of knitting, <laughs> it's worth it. I'm all red faced round here. What I might do is um, unravel it, move on to a different project for now. That's just a mess. And um, forget the pain of the short rows. They're German short rows, they're easy to do. It's just that. You get to a point where you feel with all the stitch markers, you're like, am I doing this right? Not doing very well, my knitting, am I? That jumper, the conditioner didn't, it helped marginally. I think if it was a, um, maybe a fingering weight yarn, it probably would have done the job, but not on a thick Aran. So, I am just going to 
at tage den ind til at holde os Nevermind. It's not the end of the world, it's only knitting.